Okie dokie. So here we go. Here's the image from RAW. And this is the camera RAW 8.6. If you don't shoot RAW, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do. And this is exactly why. So all I did, super simple, just bring up the exposure. No brainer right there. Shadows, which I often do because it always hits like the catch lights of the eyes and brightens eyes. Um, and that's pretty much it. So through camera bra, I'm going to open it into Photoshop. There's my beautiful girl. Alright, so I'm going to just zoom in to let you sh see how nasty and horribly grainy this is. Noise, it's called. So for this, I'm going to make another layer, which is Control JPEG on your PC. As for Mac users, I'm sorry I can't help you. It's something, but I don't know exactly what. Okay, so this is <clears throat> the add-on Noise Ninja, like, frame, I guess. And I already have all my things, kind of like my settings set, so it does pretty much what I want it to do without any tweaking. Obviously, you can go into all of these as I have in the beginning and set them to something that's going to work for you. Sometimes, when I'm shooting at really low ISO, it just takes away a lot of the detail. And you don't want that. So in that case, I would go here to my opacity, and I can see it'll take, bring it right back down. Up. But for the most part with this one, because of how much I had to lighten it, I'm going to leave it pretty high. All right, so I make another... Oops. I was going to make another one here. <clears throat> so I'm going to make another layer of that. And you always want to make layers in Photoshop, in case you didn't already know. Um, just in case, like, so let's say I do something on this layer, the third one, and I hate it. I can just take that puppy and drag it right down to the delete or the garbage can and start over without affecting my main layer original file layer or whatever. Okay, so there's a lot I could do this photo to make it better, which I did for the client, but for you, it's just for exposure or oh, under exposure purposes. So we're just going to crop the puppy right there, make another layer. Oh, I actually cropped it without unconstrained, so we're going to crop it at 8 by 12, 300 dpi. Okay. So I'll get nice clues. Alrighty, so here I'm just going to take the dodge tool. Now please, 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 when you're using the dodge tool, do not over whiten. There is nothing worse than this, and I see it way too often. This is, that's just not pretty. So keep, I do mid-tones, and I keep it at about 25, somewhere around there. And then just use your good judgment. Kind of brighten the eyes a little bit. Try to keep both eyes even, depending on the direction of the subject. Sometimes it's easier said than done. But So now, like right here, you can see um, there's some pink in there. So I would go to the same little option over here where the dodge tool is. Right click, click sponge tool. Make sure you're up here it says deset, which will take away any color saturation. Adjust your brush. See, it just like took away all that yucky red. And it's in purple, so I'm just going to do that a little bit. <coughs> and the same thing with our teeth. These look a little gungy. So I'm just going to desat each one. and then go over them again with the dodge tool. I do a larger brush for teeth because it just kind of like blends and fans a little bit better than a smaller brush. Okay. Good. So, once I'm happy, <coughs> I'd obviously do other things to the trees and to our skin. There's some blotchiness happening here, but this is just a basic how to fix under exposure. And the next thing I would do would be unsharp mask. So now like you can go mad. That's not pretty. <laughs> but depending on the image, I find that these levels are pretty 
well-rounded the work for a lot of images, but sometimes you have to adjust, you have to use your own judgment. And I believe that I used, as far as the action for the original photo, I can't be completely sure, but I think I used Milk and Honey Florabella action. Ooh. <clears throat> and with these, close up so you can see it better. Um, with these, you can drop down the full menu and take away anything you want. I took away the milk haze. So you can take away or add. And when you click on them, then you can adjust sorry, um, the opacity of each one, depending on what you want. So. I want to get rid of that honey hands. It's a little too pink for my liking. And then we're just going to lower the whole action as one. And that's pretty much it. I um, think I upped the contrast a little bit after that. That's pretty much it. Easy peasy. Hope you enjoyed.